So we've invested probably in about 25% of our investments are probably in solo founders. It is way harder, like way, way harder. Um, what I would say is we basically act as an extension of the founding team. We only invest in 12 companies per fund and it's intentional, which is that we want to spend a lot of time with the founders. And so we have a level of comfort doing that because as in investing in solo founders, because we end up being kind of like co-founders for the very early stages, which is kind of pre-product market fit. Um, what I will say is that it is clear in working with solo founders versus multi-founder teams that the most difficult part is a solo founder doesn't have an outlet, right? They don't have a thought partner. They don't have somebody that's pushing as hard as them. And so my recommendation, if you're a solo founder, is to be even more careful about the investors you find because you're going to need to lean on them in a very real way. Uh, and my other recommendation is it's good to have co-founders. Like you, you really need thought partners in the early days and people to be emotional support plus mental support because you don't know exactly what you need to build over the first six to 18 months uh, and having somebody else you trust that can be pushing just as hard as you is immensely valuable, but it's, it's, it's a luxury, right? It's not always an option.